Can you feel an eerie silence? All is still. All is dead. Words have lost their meaning. There are no survivors. There's no turning back. The silence symbolizes the death of the soul. They are the living dead, lives shattered to oblivion. Silent monuments, breathing, yet dead. This boy is 18 years old. He was the brave, adventurous type. Naturally, a career in the army lured him. The adventure ended on 30th September 1999, when a landmine blew up his dreams forever. We hate to coexist. We hate to love. We follow fury. So we make war. We win. And we lose.
human bombs, improvised explosive devices, anti-personnel mines, tear apart humanity. Mangled human bodies, some charred beyond recognition, they are the lucky ones who go to the morgue. The others, fatally wounded, are the unlucky ones. They end up in the intensive care unit. Modern science can only mutilate them further. They are sent back to a superficial world. Bodies that tell horrifying tales. Souls that speak only of unimaginable suffering. Able men, more helpless than infants. Bullets have pierced these men's sanity. Now they don't remember. They can't read, recognize colors, nor write. This trainer has a Herculean task ahead of him. Help them become normal. What are you doing? I'm learning to eat. These soldiers have performed well at disabled sporting events. But will society ever consider them as true winners? Even if they don't, there's a good marketing strategy to make that happen. You simply title them war heroes. They'll be looked up to in an instant.
He is a poor farmer. His livelihood involves a constant battle with Mother Nature. He survived. The tragic human battle for land amputated his son's leg. We always look forward to his monthly salary. I can't always bring a bumper harvest home. Here they watch in silence their shattered dreams, their cravings, their wants. When watching an Indian movie, completely alien to their culture, they can dream. This is an artificial limb factory. Who better than disabled themselves to work here? These are artificial limbs ready to meet their owners. Each limb is personally handcrafted to suit specifications. An arm or limb will last forever. Plastic will make them feel the same. She is 28 years old. He was her brother's best friend. Both were army soldiers. Despite fierce resistance from parents, they married. Their baby was still an infant when he was critically wounded in battle. Now he is without a kidney. She is their only hope.
My son joined the army without our permission. They live in perpetual darkness. They hear well, and they are wiser in the ways of the world. A novel on tape entertains them. This is a singular translation of the French classic, Blood of Others. Right now they're listening to the trauma of the heroine Helen undergoing an abortion. The listeners are the aborted children of the war. It's the others who shed blood for the cause of another. She genuinely loves this disabled soldier. He is warded at the mentally affected patient section of the hospital. The whole world revolves around him. She believes that he feels the same way about her too. These photographs hold special memories. This boy can only relive them. His future is uncertain. Reliving the past is the best form of escape. He is just 20 years old. When his father died, he answered the call to shoulder family responsibility. In the eyes of the world, this boy is brave. He wants to go back to the front once he's well. He joined the army to feed his brother and mother. He's got a letter from his wife. Oyagi, 
බිඳගාවට ගියාම කා එක හරි කතා කරනවා ඒ ඒ අරුණාම කෝ මට ආසින්න වැටිච්චි කෙනෙක් වගේ මාව තනි වෙලා මට ඉන්නවා තේතෙන්නේ නැහැ Mentality is all around us. It's in music, it's in sports, and it's in film. These are the proven media to take them to the heart of the consumerist society. The war heroes will ultimately end up as profitable, consumer, durable. He served the army for nine years. All plans were in place for him to enter marital bliss when fate struck a cruel blow. He lost a leg in an operation. But his courage lived. He is determined to get an artificial leg and get to the marriage altar. He is from a big family of 12. Seven were boys, of which four were in the army. His mother is a patriot. She encourages the boys to defend their motherland. This boy loves his country. He believes passionately in defending her integrity, but resents the fact that he has to join the army again. Soldiers waste their money on petty things. That's wrong, he says. What will happen if you become disabled one day? The white thread around his arm is for protection. He trusts in gods. Gods protect humans. His mother mortgaged a life to get him this sacred thread. He The rural men of Sri Lanka no longer believe in or take up to paddy cultivation as a livelihood. It's prone to failure. They get little or no assistance from the state. As a result, they join the army. At the root of this vicious circle is money. A disabled soldier is a burden to a nation's economy. He has to fight hard to make himself commercially viable. Tomorrow, more and more able men will join them here, in these lifeless concrete rooms, to stare at nothingness.
Can you feel an eerie silence? 